Welcome back kids. This video is part one of a two-part series showing how I made this mahogany badge plaque here. Uh, this video will be strictly on the VCAR Pro, Pro part of the process. Uh, I'm going to go in depth on some, uh, on some techniques that uh, you may or may not know about. And the first one is going to be layers in VCAR Pro and when you're designing how to use those layers. And it's just imperative that you have that and use that if you're going to do something as complex as this. Uh, for example, this sign, I mean this plaque, has four different levels. This, the banners and the center uh, Arkansas State seal are all at the surface of this board. But the texture starts at 0.05. The rays back here start at 0.1. And the dot background starts at 0.15. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, planning and thought to make that work out, but I think it worked out great, and I'm real happy with this uh, plaque. So, anyway, y'all just grab your bag of popcorn, and it ain't going to take me long to show you how I did this. All right, we're in VCAR Pro. You can see I've already got all of my tool paths set up. And full disclosure, I am recording this part after the car. Uh, the reason being is I had to go back and make a lot of tweaks to the tool pass uh, that really wasn't necessary to be seen on the video. So we're just going to, I'm going to start y'all out where I should have started with all the correct uh, tool paths and settings. So, uh, first thing we need to talk about real quick is the layers. I briefly touched on that in the last video, my logo badge video. But in order to do something this complex, you have to use layers to do it because you need to separate each component of the uh, design into its own layer. That way you can turn them on and off as needed. And by doing that, the, uh, that gets them out of your way so you can work on another part without affecting something that you've already did. So I know that's the worst explanation you've probably ever heard, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm just working with what the Lord gave me. All right, so first things first. I am going to turn off everything except the border. I'm going to leave the border on. And I'm going to turn a profile on, and you'll see why. All right, so profile, that's the active layer. And what that is, that is going to be the, it's this vector that's alone. It's not grouped with anything else. This is my 0.02 first profile cut that I do. And I do the 0.02 so that uh, I will know immediately if my stock is not level or not the same thickness throughout because if it's not either one of those things it's going to show up immediately whenever i do this first 0.02 profile and actually you'll get to see that in the video because it did save me so anyway so here we are this is the profile 02 very simple i'm using a quarter inch downtown jenny 0.02 depth to the outside and I have a 0.05 allowance offset and what that does it gives me you can see it right here it gives me a little meat there that I can leave behind so this will be the actual edge of the sign and the design will start right here and that gap is 0.05 and it just gives you a little wiggle room it also looks nice so we've got that, and of course, no tabs or anything. We're not cutting through. Outside right, 5.05 allowance, and then I just save that. All right, so that's our cutout. That will be our 0.02 starting profile, and it will also be used later when I get ready to cut the this badge out of this piece of mahogany. All right, the next thing when you want to work on is the border which is turned on which is right here that's all grouped together but notice it, it's still separate from that uh, profile cut 
So on the border, I use the 60 degree Groovy Jenny 0.07 depth. I tried it with uh, no flat depth and it was cutting deeper than I wanted it to. I just, it looked better like this. So the 0.07 is what I went with and that was the correct choice for this case. And I just named it border and there's nothing else to it. Just V cut 0.07 depth. So close that. I'm going to check that. All right, the banners, along with the center state seal, are the only areas that will be at the original Z height. Everything else is going to be cut at a different depth. But uh, for these, let's just look at the tool path here. I just cut them, just cut them 0.05 depth with a 60 degree groovy Jenny on the lines are on the vector and nothing nothing else tricky about that so let's close that all right these vectors that make up the banners they're first cut with a v card as a profile then i came back and cut them again deeper than the original tool path. And the reason I couldn't cut the whole thing at say the 0.1 depth is because these little ends of the banners here, if I did that, and I did do that on the test card that I did on Cedar, and it just left a real thin sliver of those uh, banner pieces there, and you really couldn't tell what they were, and it just annihilated these here in the middle. so. That's why I decided to cut the whole thing, all of it, at 0.05, and then went back and just hit the main banner pieces uh, with the 0.1 depth. And that worked out great. All right, the next thing is the text. So let's go to the text. I'll turn that on. And this is all the text. The Lieutenant text and the 4106 were all cut on the same tool path at 0.11. And I just kind of played with that and kept cutting it a little deeper at a time until uh, I got down to the depth that looked the best with the 60 degree gro groovy jenny. And the reason I had to put these other lines on different tool paths is because they needed a, a different depth. And I tried no flat depth on all of these on one of the original cars on cedar and all of them were just cutting deeper than than they needed to and it didn't look as good so let's just look at jefferson county here i cut it at 0.07 so up here these were 0.11 this is 0.07 and let's see what i did on sheriff's office 0.1 so, 0 0.11, 0 0.07, 0 0.1, and 0.11. And then for the state of Arkansas, this little bitty tiny text down here. Let's look at that. I cut it at 0 0.05 with a 60 degree. All right, now the seal, which we've kind of already talked about this, but uh, let's look at that tool path. 0 0.07 depth. Again, I just played with that. And uh, the reason I had to cut the text, the state of Arkansas text, on a separate tool path is because, remember, we just did that, and that was 0.05 is what it ended up being. The entire seal was cut at 0.07. It could go a little deeper uh, than the text could. But I did all of the seal with the 30-degree groovy genie, and I believe that's the only time I used the 30-degree on this project. You sure about that? All right, next we have what I call the dot pockets. This entire vector was cut out for the pocket cut at 0.15 depth. Now this is interesting. I'm gonna turn off the dots so it don't get too confusing here. I used these vectors twice. The first time I cut them, I cut them as pockets at point one. So remember, all of this back here on the background 
where the dots are going to be, that was 0.15. The height, the top of these rays will be 0.10. So I cut them down. I just cut a pocket on that, on each one of those vectors, 0.1. So then I came back and did a profile cut with the 60 degree Ruby Genie on these same vectors. And that just kind of cleaned up those edges around there. And I cut that at 0.05. That was just, basically I was just putting a bevel on the edge of those. Nothing else fancy. And then at the end, one of the last tool paths was this, what I call ray cleanup 116, which means it was a 1 16th inch end mill left over from my x carve days. It was a uh, Inventables brand 1 16th inch up cut, sorry. So I just run it as a profile outside the vector. And here again, I'm just cleaning up fuzzies is basically what it was doing. All right, now let's turn on the texture pocket. All right, the texture is everything within the star. All of this is cut at 0.05. Let me open it up here. All right, yep, 0.05. So the banners are at zero. They're the top of the board. Then 0.10, I cut the rays. And then 0.15, I cut the dot background. So there's three different layers there. And that turned out so cool. So let's look at the texture here. I used a 60 degree Ruby Jenny. My starting depth was 0.05. The reason being that pocket was cut to 0.05. So I had to start the V-carve at 0.05. And I didn't mention that on these other two up here. Let's go back to the... So let's go back to the rays, and you'll notice here, the starting depth on those was 0.1, and then they were cut to a depth of 0.05. The reason being, remember I did a pocket tool path on those same vectors first to get those down to a layer that was 0.1 below the surface of, say, the banners. Anyway, now we got our number border down here. Let me turn that on. And this was interesting. I had never did one like this, and so I just used the 30 degree groovy Jenny on this. I didn't set a flat depth, and I had tried this at several different depths, and uh, I just settled on the flat depth, and it worked out fine. These were a little thin and there was some, a little bit of chipping through here on the real small areas there but it's still overall it turned out okay if i had it to do over again i probably would have set a flat depth uh just a little bit shallower than that and it may have cut down on the chipping but I, i'm really not sure that it would have because those were going to be very small uh fins i guess you would say uh regardless so but anyway, I was happy with how that turned out. So that was uh, started started at 0 0.05 on these. I think we have one more layer to go, which I saw, which were just the circles here on the end of the stars. That was the points of the star there. Started at zero, cut depth was 0.1. I wanted them down to the same level as the rays. So we were at 0, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, also here with 0.1, and the dot started at 0.15. And that's it. Let's just do a quick uh, preview. I'll show you what we ended up with here.
This was a large file. That's why it's taking so long to load up here. And at first I tried to send it over to the Masso with the Masso link. Hell, it was going to take forever. So I just uh, used my thumb drive. First time I've ever did that. that I actually transferred the file from my computer to the Masso with a thumb drive. But that was much, much faster. All right. So I hope uh, this maybe gave y'all some ideas that you hadn't thought of before. And uh, these kind of things, for me anyway, take so much thought and planning to make them turn out right. And, you know, I did two full-size practice carves trying to get it right, you know, and uh, I'm real happy with how it ended up. So this has been a, a lengthy process, but I'm, I was glad to do it. Uh, I always enjoy, in fact, my favorite thing to do are police and, you know, uh, first responder logos and badges. That's my thing. And that's, that's really why I settled as with the badge for my Mitchell Woodwork logo. Cause really I, I wouldn't be upset if all I did from now on was just badges and first responder type uh, plaques. So that's just my thing. I never was in law enforcement. I, but I do respect those guys, and uh, they get a bad rap nowadays, and uh, that's a shame because I'd hate to think of this world without them. That's it for this one, kids. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you learned something about layers. Uh, I'm the wrong person to be teaching that, I know. But uh, there's Garrett Frommy at IDC Woodcraft, Mark Lindsay, uh, and also uh, the... YouTube channel, Learn Your CNC, that guy's great too. So uh, to get more detailed information on layers in VCAR Pro, check those guys out because they can explain it so much better than I can. But uh, anyway, I, while I got you here, I want to remind you all about the Caveman Club now on Facebook. I think we got like 26 members, which is 20 more than we ever had <laughs> on Discord. But... Uh, Got folks already sharing their projects, and that is great. I love seeing that. So if y'all are on Facebook, be sure and check the Caveman Club. Uh, I'll have a link, of course, down in the description below. Uh, let's see. Right now, this is my current subscriber count, so I'm getting real close to that 2200 number, which is awesome. Uh, thank y'all for that, too. And uh, also, got to remind you about Patreon buy me a coffee, and all the other ways you can help support this channel. I appreciate y'all so much. I've got a couple of new members that have joined since uh, the last video. They're right here. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. Welcome to the club. Uh, glad to have you. So I will have the car video for this one. That will be the next video. Probably going to be next weekend. You know, maybe, maybe I'll be able to get it done quicker than that. But uh, I've just got a lot of video to edit because this was quite the process. So hope you are looking forward to it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.